Hello everybody. Recently, Devonte Hudson, a teenager from Toronto, was honored for helping a seven-year-old boy named Confidence. Part one of the series was a retell of the story. Part two of this glimpse contained thoughts and reflections about the story. Hi, my name is Glenric. I moved from Jamaica to Canada and I've been here like for 18 months. Hi everybody, my name is Michael. I came to Canada from Nigeria and I've only been living here for 11 months. Glenric and I kind of understand what confidence is feeling by only being here for three days. Confident and just seven years old. He just came to Canada. He, how does he know that if people are bad or good to him? Confidence is only seven years old and he just moved into the community. He, he's not sure if he can trust anyone quite yet. My family moved tonight from Nigeria 11 months ago because there are a lot of bad, bad things happening there. When there's violence in Nigeria, I feel scared and I don't feel safe. Now that confidence is in Canada, he maybe feels safer, but he maybe misses family and friends back home. I know all that feel. My mom and my sister are still in Jamaica, but I hope we meet up one day in Canada. Moving and starting over in a new country is tough. You have to learn all the rules and laws of the country and you have to start over again. Confidence is just seven years old. How did he end up on the bus by himself? Who's taking care of him? How did this happen? How did his parents let him go on the bus by himself? I know a little seven years old boy all by himself in a bus is unusual, but in Nigeria it might not be so unusual be because um, parents, re per parents rely on the older sibling to take care of the younger sibling. I'm not very happy about the sisters. They forgot their little brother on the bus. I have a message for Confidence parents. It's your job to take care of Confidence, not the older sister. I think Confidence parents should get a slip of paper and put their phone number on it and all the information so whenever they, uh, Confidence needs to contact his parents, if he's alone, he can just go and call them with the piece of paper. Confidence's parents should visit a community center that can teach them the rules in Canada. I agree with Devante. If you see somebody by itself, ask them if they need help, especially if it's a little kid. Devante doesn't like all this attention. All he did was help somebody. It's, it's a great thing to do. Everyone should do it. It's no big deal. Devante's a giant city. There are so many people here. I wonder how many have are very kind, like Devante was. I'm glad that the principal had a special um, assembly for Devante, and I'm happy he got a new bus pass. Hey, I read that there's more than 50 new people from Russell Public Schools who are new to Canada. Wow, that's a lot. Confidence is not the only one. Miss Harrison has to find a way to make them safe, happy, and comfortable. Confidence and his family have to learn some safety rules. Hold the adult's hand and look before you walk down the street. You should always know your parents' phone number in case there's an emergency. Or ask the bus driver to help and he's gonna call the police. 
Thank you very much for listening to our thoughts and opinions. This has been a Glimpse production. Thank you for watching.